never a beef. It's only a difference in opinion. Right. To me, if I like my, my homeboy should gave me the best advice I could ever give him in your body. He said, he's when people ask him if he's beefing with um, bad boy with puffy, he says like me going to a playground and picking on a little kid. Right. That's like me being mad at my little brother because he getting cash now. I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at my little brother when he don't respect me. Yeah. Now, when you don't respect me, I'm going to spank your ass. I don't give a fuck how rich you got. On the block, I'm your big brother. Hey, kiddo. What are you doing? Just having a little drink before my car picks me up. Where are you going? I'm going to go to join um, Diddy. He's doing that. <laughs> Rick Ross is doing a little concert this afternoon. Really? Your boobs, honestly, they get bigger. No, I just lifted this bra up. It's like night and day. I need to have my bras, my boobs sitting up at this yeah, you do. level at all times. They were like down to here. That's life changing. Life changing, but it gives me back fat. Gotta pick or choose your battles. That's what I learned in my life. Yeah. So why do you care to go to this? Because I was invited and I think it would be fun. When are you gonna act your own age? This like rap crew, like Rick Ross and Diddy. Do you think this is like your crowd? I know a thing or two about rap music. Who is the boss? Me. No. It truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, he's glittering. He's glittering. He's glittering. He's glittering. Well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy, and if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Thank All right, you. we'll be right back with more right after this. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early and now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen, having a good time. Yo, are you usher made in the. Hey, yo. LeBron James comments on P. Diddy getting arrested and basically saying that he had a weird feeling today was the day the feds will actually catch up to Diddy. I guess we can all confirm that LeBron James was the anonymous tipster that gave up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna keep it a glass of water, y'all. This is nasty. Y'all remember before a couple months ago that we saw that LeBron James was saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. <laughs> Some people will say that LeBron James should go to jail. Chill out, y'all. Right? We all know that this is a troll post. Well, it is actually true that P. Diddy did go to jail, though. But not me. About LeBron James' whole situation is crazy, and that's that's lies. But it's still funny just to see that. <laughs> Feel me? Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the whole P. Diddy situation and LeBron James, but you may snow what's up, I'm not. Conspiracy, sex trafficking, interstate transportation for The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs threatened and coerced victims to fulfill his sex protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. Combs had been living there for several weeks. A person with knowledge of the investigation told NBC News the arrest was based on a sealed indictment brought by the Southern District of New York. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment.
This is incredibly disturbing footage, so I do want to warn our viewers as you did. But as you said, Cassie's lawsuit, which was filed in November of 2023 and then was quickly settled overnight, it did open the floodgates. But in that complaint, Jake, she details an incident that she alleged happened in March of 2016 at a hotel in Los Angeles, physically assaulted by Diddy. Now our team in the LA Bureau, we have got our hands on that surveillance footage and it appears to corroborate Cassie's claims identically. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least there are three bear cats on scene here this just all unfolded Sandra I would say you have it all figured out you really do you got a key to the city you're licking toads yeah. I mean and, and apparently you survived it did you have to use the ambulance or was just there in um, case. No, I have to use the ambulance. Oh, I have to use Any Despite being incredibly healthy and her death being, well, shady. Rumors about the alleged affair between Jay-Z and Kathy sparked after she was spotted at a Las Vegas nightclub partying with Jay-Z and Diddy. It didn't take long for people to start connecting the dots and figuring out that Kathy was Jay-Z's mistress. Kathy had enough of living a double life and decided that it was finally time to tell her story, and that's when she was offed. First responders to the scene felt her death was suspicious, and NYPD officers speculated that, quote, someone might have given Kathy a bad drug. The boy, I guess, is, you know, serious about his sports. Um, Puffy is said to be a helicopter dad you know, shows up and, you know, you know, you know what heli helicopter parenting is. <laughs> anyway, a helicopter dad. So apparently um, the team had practice early in the morning and Justin had missed quite a few practices and then he wasn't performing uh, suitable to whoever's watching over the team. I guess they would call that the coach. <laughs> we were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least there are three bear cats on scene here this just all unfolded sandra i would say as federal agents combed through diddy's miami beach mansion they encountered a scene devoid of life with the property appearing eerily uninhabited electronics were confiscated and several of diddy's staff members underwent questioning only to be released later attorney aaron dyer representing diddy vehemently condemned the raid as an excessive use of force emphasizing that diddy cooperated fully with authorities and was never detained Dire statements hint at a brewing legal battle, portraying Diddy as an innocent victim of baseless accusations. As the media frenzy surrounding the raid subsided, life on Star Island gradually resumed its normal pace, albeit with lingering questions and speculation swirling around the mogul's opulent residence. A new civil lawsuit claims Sean Diddy Combs repeatedly passed off dancer and adult film actress Adria English to be sexually assaulted by partygoers during events at his New York and Miami houses between 2006 and 2009. What they're looking for because it was gone on the premises of sex. They're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be underage. Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a right child. <laughs> because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent. It's craziness, man. I, I, and you know, what's, you know what's so crazy is, bro, that All these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him, but he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN, is keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're gonna push up under the rug and a few, a few years later, bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Um, context, like they in the act. That's what they're looking for. So now they're gonna go through all those devices.
If somebody got any kind of weird fetishes that they got little kids or little girls or something like that in any kind of pictures or any kind of photos that they took out of that, man. Hey, hey, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. Yo, man, I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? Yo, I did it. I told my he wanted receipts. Let's start with your mother, nigga. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. In the studio, he said, "Yo, I'm a drug they off and pick them out and, and, and pip them out to my, <laughs> pip them out to my neck." He looking around like, "Damn, like a lot of guys kissing each other in here, man. You feel me? What y'all do is y'all business." So you, you've been to a party and seen this? Oh, I've seen it firsthand, multiple times. I seen the White Howard in a pink dress, bro. What? I seen the White Howard in a pink dress with two other trans ladies in dresses, they all the same height, at a Diddy party. Oh. Ask about Dwight Howard in Mexico. What's up with Dwight Howard in Mexico? You know, they don't got paparazzi out there like that. You feel me? They was down there hooping. He going to the club with these same trans ladies. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. You know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. But I'm not scared of being the competition. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, and see if that factors in. I guarantee you it won't. All of these shortcuts takers. They'd cancel me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my p in front of all my people at my agency. I told him no, what y'all do? And this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I'm not taking the shortcuts. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. Joining me very quickly, and I want to circle back to you, Kiela, about uh, Sean Puffy Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, spinning, spinning, spinning. I mean, this guy is a master promoter, okay? And the allegation is that Combs aided and abetted his son in this attack. You heard about him catching the sexual assault on the little designer dude? Yep. Right. Him... Imagine you got two seven foot tall, swole guys in dresses, corner you in a hotel in a bedroom, you finna be scared. Fact. So like, I, I distinctly remember going to a Diddy party, all the waitresses topping. Right. I want no, you tell it. No, you're, you're no I want you to tell it. You really are the best. You proving it here today. <laughs> as much as I'm proving it, you proving it. You proving it. Um, Yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't. People say that he lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times, four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, uh, cause P Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, freely. Kid, 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 I need, kid, I need no one. You here, get your number Thank two, you, kid. sir. Now to a CNN exclusive. The Department of Justice may be taking steps to indict music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Two sources close to the investigation tell us that a federal grand jury may soon hear from Diddy's accusers. Since November, Combs has been named in eight civil lawsuits, seven of them directly accusing him of sexual assault. I mean, in the beginning, like the first three and a half years, he was 
I mean, like the first three months, three, four months, he was really nice. But then after that, he was, he started being a, so Shocking new accusations. His alleged victim humiliated and traumatized. Diddy's legal troubles just got bigger, less than 48 hours after his somber mea culpa. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Extra has obtained this explosive new 15-page lawsuit filed by model Crystal McKinney. She claims he got her drunk and high with a joint that was laced with what she says was a narcotic or other intoxicating substance. The rest of a former SU basketball walk-on player, Brendan Paul, who's part, police say, of a sex trafficking investigation of rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. Paul is accused in court documents of being Combs' drug mule. What they're looking for, because it was gone on the premises of sex, they're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be under a context. Like they in the act. That's what they're looking for. So now they're gonna go through all those devices. If somebody got any kind of weird fetishes that they got little kids or little girls or something like that in any kind of pictures or any kind of photos that they took out of that. It's craziness, man. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him. But he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're gonna push up under the rug and a few, a few years later, bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Man. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. Yo, man, I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? Yo, I did it. Told my he want receipts. Let's start with your mother, n Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. He said, I'm gonna drug them out. I'm gonna get them all on drugs. And I'm gonna pimp their out to my in the studio. He said, yo, I'm gonna drug their ass out and pick them out and, and, and pimp them out to my. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. 
And I know people gonna think that, you know, yo, this is all what Gene wanted to see. But now listen here, man. The devil got a purpose, God got a plan. Do you understand what I'm saying? The devil got his purpose, but God got a plan. You understand? And it's all in God's plan, man. You understand? To let people see because a lot of people wasn't believing that this stuff even existed, brother. A lot of people didn't even think that this was, that, you know, Catchy was telling lies, Gene been telling lies, Lil Rob been telling lies, everybody lying on Diddy. But Diddy told the truth. What's up, man? You good? What's up? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Correct. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could indict a ham sandwich, but the Southern District of New York has a 98 point two conviction rate all right for those who don't know if you got a hundred people only one point two eights or something like that 98 point you have 1.8 only 1.8 has won against them so now what they do they already got the witnesses they already got the people because let me just say something with the sex trafficking thing, it only takes one witness to convince the jury. Hi, this is Mandy. Diddy's time in prison is reportedly far from easy, and his high profile status has made his situation even more precarious. Being held in the MDC Brooklyn detention facility, Diddy is facing serious challenges as he navigates life behind bars. According to sources, Diddy is being kept in the special housing unit SHU, where he's isolated from the general population for his own protection. Former warden Cameron Lindsay explained to TMZ that Diddy's celebrity and the nature of the charges against him make him a target, and some inmates might see harming him as a twisted badge of honor. Lindsay went on to detail how life in the SHU is highly controlled and regimented. Diddy is allowed just one hour of recreation time each day and three showers per week. Although his legal team will have regular access to work on his case, visits from family and friends will be less frequent and more difficult due to the isolated nature of his detention. Additionally, life in the SHU is harsh in more ways than one. Diddy receives three meals a day, but the food isn't fresh since it sits in warming boxes before being served. He can purchase small items from the commissary, such as snacks and clothing, but his daily routine involves a strict regimen, including making his bed and cleaning his cell early in the morning. Attorney James Kusuros, who represents rapper Casanova, provided insight into the even grimmer realities of MDC Brooklyn. Kusuros described frequent violent incidents and fights within the facility. He noted that in the SHU, Diddy's access to basic amenities like the phone or library is highly limited, and even visits are difficult due to the extended process of reaching the unit. This isolation is likely to limit the time Diddy gets to spend with his loved ones, further adding to the challenges he's facing during this trying period. With Diddy navigating such a tense environment, his legal team and supporters are surely working hard to resolve his situation, but for now, the mogul must adapt to life in one of the most notorious federal detention centers in the U.S. The legal troubles surrounding Sean Diddy Combs have intensified with the recent unsealing of an indictment detailing raids conducted at his residences in Los Angeles and Miami. Prosecutors disclosed that during these raids, authorities seized an array of items, including drugs and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant, which were labeled as freak off supplies in the indictment. These discoveries have raised further questions regarding the activities that took place at these locations, adding complexity to the already high profile case. Diddy was arrested in Manhattan following a grand jury indictment, although the exact charges remain under wraps for the moment. His attorney, Mark Agnafilo, expressed frustration with the US Attorney's Office, claiming that Diddy, who he describes as a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist is being 
unfairly targeted. Agnafilo stated, though he is not perfect, he is certainly not a criminal and called for the public to reserve judgment until all facts are disclosed. Damian Williams, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, confirmed Diddy's arrest and promised more information once the indictment is fully released. This arrest is the latest in a series of legal challenges for the music mogul, who has been at the center of multiple investigations and lawsuits, many of which allege serious misconduct. One of the most high-profile cases includes a lawsuit filed in November 2023 by Diddy's former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who accused him of S.A. and misconduct. The lawsuit was settled just a day later, with Diddy publicly apologizing on social media. However, more lawsuits followed, including one from former Danity Kane member Don Richard and another from Joy Dickerson Neal, who both accused Diddy of abuse and harassment. Additionally, in December, a separate lawsuit alleged that Diddy and singer Aaron Hall were involved in essay incidents dating back to the 1990s. In March of this year, Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, conducted high-profile raids on Diddy's properties in Miami and Los Angeles as part of a larger investigation into ST allegations. While Diddy's attorney Aaron Dyer condemned these raids, labeling them an unwarranted show of force, he insisted that Diddy had cooperated fully with authorities and was never detained. Dyer reiterated that his client remains innocent and continues to battle to clear his name in court and the public eye. As this case continues to unfold, the seized items and the broader accusations will likely play a significant role in shaping the prosecution's case against Diddy, casting a long shadow over the future of his career and public reputation. Yeah, I mean, y'all saw it here. Um, they're going for they're going hard for on him, and um, he's gonna have some harsh conditions. You know, this is not gonna be six nine part two. You know what I mean? Nah, apparently they're not giving Diddy that same type of treatment. This is even more serious, you know, and it's going to be bad. This is going to be the worst he's lived um, and probably like over what, 40 years or something since he was like 10. Like <laughs> probably and this is going to be worse than that, actually. So this is going to be the worst he's ever lived because he hasn't seen this type of life ever, you know, um, even when he was not. Even before he started Bad Boy and all that stuff, he was still probably not having only strictly three meals a day and all this other stuff and couldn't like, no, he was able to see his family still. You know what I mean? Even then. So um, this is going to be the worst, you know, Diddy's worst nightmare, you know, um, the worst thing he could ever experience is happening to him now. And this is the retribution, you know, there, there must be retribution for uh for the atrocities for the destruction you know for um for the the trauma you know that he's put on to people um there has to be some type of consequence for that and this is that consequence you know they say that he's facing 15 years minimum okay that means that even if he does a plea deal it will be 15 years minimum that means it, it, no matter what if he's found guilty, he will be in there for, for 15 years. He will be incarcerated if he is found guilty, no matter what. Okay, so if he can't beat this case, if he can't, he better he better really use them billions now. Them billions better come in now. They better come in hard now because you're going to need the best lawyer team in in um in history. You're going to need the best lawyer team in existence. To beat this case you know and yeah it seems like they were planning this for a long time they said that they've been planning this since far before the raid that happened months ago so they've known about this and they've been building this case and just like how we've been exposing diddy apparently they've been um catching on apparently they have been wiser they have been the wiser and they know you know the cat is out the bag you know um and so that he's just going to have to face this. He's going to have to face the consequences of his actions, you know? Um, that's really the way to put it, you know? Everyone was saying this. Gene Deal was saying it. Jaguar Wright was saying it. Justin Bieber, 
Um, well, he didn't say it, but he alluded to it. Um, Usher was saying this about not sending his son to the flavor camp. You understand many people were saying this. 50 Cent has been calling Diddy out for a, Diddy out for a long time. Okay. And uh, many, many more people have been exposing this for a long time. This was a long time coming, you know. Um, 50's working on the Surviving Diddy documentary. So this all was a long time coming. And many people have known about this. And uh, the FBI clearly knows about it too. And so um, Diddy is currently being investigated. And they're not going to let him on bail. You know, they think they said that he has tried to contact... They said that he has allegedly tried to contact multiple witnesses and tamper with the ongoing investigation, you know, so and probably trying to allegedly you would probably be trying to pay them off or something along that sort. And so obviously <laughs> they can't let him out for that reason, as well as the flight risk reason. But they're probably his his um his uh his his lawyers, his defense team will probably um, argue that. He could have ran after the first raid in Miami, but he never did. So the flight risk argument is not as as much of an argument, but the argument that he's a danger to society is still very valid. And that is the argument that will be the primary one. And that will be the primary thing that stops him from getting bail. So he will be stuck. He will be stuck until this entire case um, goes through its entire process, which can take years. So um, he's going to be just stuck in there. There won't he won't that like he's never getting out until this case unless he beats this case he's not getting out for fifteen years minimum. So from whenever he's been locked up, which was probably yesterday, to uh, well he was supposed to appear in court yesterday, so I don't know, or the day before he was supposed to appear in court, so I'm not sure. But he's probably locked up now. So um, no 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 he is because he was locked up before then. He was locked up before that. They said that he was in custody already. Even um, two days ago, he was in custody. And they were saying he was going to appear in court. So, yeah, I, I got that mixed up. He was, he's already in custody. And so, yeah, from, from, from like two days ago all the way till 15 years from now, if he doesn't beat this case, he's done. No bail, no nothing. You know, no sympathy for you. Nothing for you. Okay? And... Hey, man, I can't argue with it. This is the way that things should go. I was surprised. Um, I was definitely shocked to see that justice is on its way. But this is something that had to happen. And it was always it was always bound to be this way. You know, it was always bound to be this way. Diddy was always going to be the fall guy. Come on, Diddy. You, did you really think that you could do all of this under the un, and just not get caught? And just no one would ever know. No one would ever know about none of this stuff. No, bro. No. You were way too sloppy with this stuff, my guy. And then also, that apology was mad fake. Like, how are you going to apologize after you're caught? So basically, you're saying you're sorry for getting caught. Because you know what you did to Cassie. You know what you did before that video came out. So why does the video have to come out for us to hear your apology? That's how you know that that's not a genuine apology. That is the fakery. That is the phony, okay? That is the lie, the deception, okay? That is what that is because um, you've, known, you've known what you've done. You've known what you've been doing. You know these things are wrong, right? Because you're coming out and you're apologizing and you're saying that um, it's wrong and all this other stuff. So if you know this, then how come you didn't come out earlier? Why, 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 why did we have to see it from a tape that exposed you? Why did you have to be exposed, Okay. That's because this is not genuine. That's because um, you aren't sorry. You are sorry that you were caught because, that's, well, that's going to suck for you now, isn't it? But <laughs> it doesn't seem like you were sorry about um, about the actual thing because that's something you could have been apologized about before it ever even happened. Could have apologized to Cassie, but you didn't do that, right? So this is why we are here. So yeah, you guys, I mean... This is the final, this is the final gambit. This is the climax. This is the end point. This is the end of everything, you know? Diddy, bad boy, and all of that, you know? It's all domino falling down right now. All of it. All the Jenga blocks, the whole Jenga tower, it's all coming down. It's a controlled demolition, okay? It's all coming down. Controlled demolition style, okay? So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about this information? 
Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video, turn on notifications. And yeah, y'all, let's know what's right here. Be easy, y'all.